new couch. You know this couch turns into a bed so I can like take a nap and then continue recording. It's awesome. I have two new lights that I borrowed from my friend for like two weeks. Uh, it's better than nothing. I, I kind of like them. I look a little bit bright, but it's fine. Start. So why do we yawn? Snakes and fish do it, cats and dogs do it, even babies inside their mom's tummies do it. Everyone does it. But why? why? Why does everyone yawn? There is many theories about why we yawn and one of the most popular ones states that we yawn because of lack of oxygen. So because you don't have a lot of oxygen, you inhale oxygen. But the most scientifically backed theory about why we yawn is because of your brain's temperature regulation. Like any computer, your brain has an optimal working temperature and when it becomes very hot, yawning cools it down. If your brain temperature gets high, inhaling cold air can alter the temperature of the blood in your head. Plus yawning increases your heart rate, your blood flow and the use of muscles in your face and they all cool your brain down. Lack of sleep and exhaustion can increase the temperature of your brain. That's why when you're tired, you yawn more frequently. One function of sleeping is regulating heat distribution so your body can maintain a healthy core temperature when you sleep. Now look at this video. Mm. <sighs> Did you yawn yet? <sighs> Why is yawning so contagious? Uh, contagious yawning is most probably linked with empathy. A study from 2010 found that most children did not begin to experience contagious yawning until the age of 4, which is the age that empathy starts to develop. So you're more likely to yawn if you see someone you care about or your BFF yawn. It's the same concept if someone laughs or smiles in front of you, you're gonna laugh or smile back. Uh, that's more likely if you like that person or you love them. That's all I have for now. See you guys next Wednesday. Keep spreading the yawn and goodbye.